Hey everyone, welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack tonight. We're talking about police radio scanner encryption tonight and why it sucks. Now if you're an avid scanner listener, you know that police agencies around the country are becoming encrypted by the day. Now most of you that have heard of scanner in your lifetime are used to something that sounds like this. And if you had an agency back in the days of analog that had old DVP or digital voice protection, uh, their encryption method may have sounded like this. And in today's P25 environment, you may be now hearing traffic that sounds like this. Ah, what's going on? Knoxville, Las Vegas, Virginia Beach, Toronto, San Bernardino County, and right here, even in my home area, Aurora, Colorado, among many, many, many others. So first we have to look at why this move to encryption is actually happening. Now it all starts back in 9-11. On September 11, 2001, New York City first responders quickly realized they did not have an efficient way to communicate from one agency to another. That's a problem. So as an after action item from 9-11, the federal government told a lot of municipalities throughout the United States, we're gonna give you bundles of money to figure out this problem. That's right, here's a federal grant to use toward building a better and more up-to-date radio system that allows agencies in your areas to communicate effectively when there's a mutual aid scenario. This is a good thing. Also, what we found was analog systems take up a lot of bandwidth, it sucks up the spectrum, digital is much more efficient use of the spectrum, and it has some advantages. One of which, it's much easier to do encryption on digital than it is on the old analog systems. Hmm. So for decades and decades, police traffic was primarily monitored by two audiences, local media and scanner enthusiasts, many of which are ham radio operators. Uh, and those two small contingents are just that, pretty small. Now, fast forward, 2018, technology, fast pace. Now we add the proliferation of websites like Broadcastify and where you can pull out a police scanner right on your smartphone in the name of a smartphone scanner app. This is allowing Joe Schmo, who would never ever program a scanner in their life or even know what a frequency means, um, to be able to listen to police transmissions with much more ease than ever before. And that's been some of the main arguments from police departments and local government, has been too many people are now listening in and we're starting to see the ill effects of that. Criminals using them while in commission of a crime, uh, people coming to the scene of crimes when they really don't need to be, causing more chaos and problems because now they have crowds showing up. People spreading misinformation and scanner traffic on social media or in Facebook groups for communities causing all kinds of chaos and problems. Those are the arguments for encryption of police traffic. Now, there's also some arguments against that. Media outlets have cried foul about this big push to encryption from agencies across the country and for good reason. Many newsrooms in the United States all have scanners in them in which the person assigned the news desk is listening to scanner traffic, listening for breaking local news in which to send a news crew for a major crime news story. It makes sense. So where these agencies are running into problems are, they're taking away the ability for local media to cover what's happening in the community. Now, I will say, some agencies have said they will program a radio if the news agency buys it on their own dime. That way they can still listen in in real time because, again, the media is a valuable asset to have in the community. They understand that. However, not all agencies are doing that. Some agencies are saying not even the news folks are allowed to hear scanner traffic anymore. I think that's a real problem. Of course, law enforcement is, you know, taxpayer funded. Um, do we have some form of right to listen into police traffic? Um, again, I feel that yes, we do. You know, we fund the operations to keep our community safe. Our law enforcement are part of our community. We pay to have them police our communities. I do feel that the vast majority of traffic should be open. Law abiding citizens that are scanner enthusiasts have actually made a difference. They have actually helped solve major crimes when they happen. If you go to full encryption, you no longer have that possibility for your law-abiding scanner enthusiast. So, so, you may be wondering, well, what's your opinion then? Should it be open or encrypted? Well, here's the answer. 
It should be open, sort of. Now, I'm not saying that all traffic from the police department should be open and in the clear air. I'm not saying that. That would be crazy. What I am saying is that the vast majority, 90%, let's just say it for an arbitrary percentage, should be in the clear and available to any person that wants to listen in. That means primary dispatch channels, uh, other support channels. However, there are certain things where encryption makes a ton of sense. Obviously, SWAT channels, um, undercover sting operations, things that are incredibly sensitive where they don't need anyone just hearing that, there should be encrypted options for law enforcement to make that judgment call. But dispatch frequencies, I don't believe are one of them. Even right here in my home state of Colorado, uh, they try to pass a bill in the state legislature uh, that actually would effectively ban agencies from using encryption at all in their communications. Now, that bill did not pass in the state of Colorado, but it was the first one of its kind and certainly shows that there's at least some pushback on this move to full encryption for public safety transmissions. Kind of interesting. So what do you think? Do you think police agencies should encrypt all their communications? So Joe Schmo Public, you as a ham operator, the local media, nobody can hear it unless you work for the police department. Is that the right option? Do you think that there should be some encrypted channels when it calls for it in certain special circumstances? Let me know what you think. Drop me a comment down below. And also, don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button. It's gonna be worth your time.